David here with Fig Boot on Pens. Uh, I've mentioned this previously, but one of my other hobbies is magic. And I thought to start off things today, I would show you a card trick. Uh, this is a standard deck of cards. Um, we have a couple of jokers that I'm going to set aside here for a second, but it is just a standard deck. And I'm, you're going to have to trust me here, but I am randomly selecting out a card here. Um, since I don't have anyone here in the room who would actually go ahead and pick one out. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put that card back in the middle of the deck. And you can see that it's not here on top and it is not here on the bottom. Now, remember those jokers? Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set one joker right on top. And then what what's going to happen is I'm going to set this other joker on top and instantaneously your card is going to appear sandwiched between these two jokers. So I'm just going to set this right here, snap my fingers, and then lo and behold, between the two jokers is a single card. And that card is yours. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that little trick. Today I have for you not one ink, but a series of eight different inks from the Taiwanese manufacturer Kala. And that would be their very bold neon line. Uh, thanks go out to Shigur Inks, who is our online retailer based out of New Jersey, for providing these inks for review. In order to get a closer look at these unique offerings, please join me over here at Camera 2. Okay, to begin with, I want to show you each of these inks. Uh, they are very brightly colored. First of all, we have Kala Neon Red, uh, and this is what the bottle looks like. Uh, they are nice little bottles, and the red is actually called Dig It. Uh, so it says Neon Red, and then it kind of has a, uh, a funky name on it. Uh, and I would say that this Neon Red is really more of a coral and not a true red. And then next up, we have the Neon Blue, and the Neon Blue is called Dude. And I'd say this is one of the, the colors that's a little more subdued. It isn't quite as bright. Then next up, we have the Neon Violet, which is called Groovy. And we have the Neon Green, which is called Peace Out. Then to complete the set, we have the Neon Orange, which is called Joy. Then we have the Purple, which is called Boogie. We have the Pink, which is called Foxy. And finally, we have the Yellow, uh, which is essentially, essentially like a highlighter ink. And that one is called Skinny. This is what each of the colors looks like on some 52 gram Tomoe River paper. Uh, as I mentioned, you can see that the red is really more of a coral color. Uh, the, uh, the pink is something I enjoy. The yellow is really a highlighter color. And then there's a couple other ones that, um, while they're nice and vibrant, they don't necessarily have necessarily like the neon color as maybe some of like the orange and the pink uh, and the yellow does. So I thought we'd take a closer look at a few of these different colors. Uh, so we have Kala Neon uh, with a number of different passes here with this 2.4 millimeter Pilot Parallel. Uh, and you can see that this is a rather saturated ink and so you don't get a lot of shading. This is Rhodia 80 gram paper. Uh, the ghosting and bleed is very low. Uh, you can see here, this is a pretty heavy application and it, there is virtually no ghosting or bleeding on this paper. Uh, the shade is rather low, the sheen is rather low, and neon, yes. Uh, that in order to take a closer look at some of these colors, I have a few different pens, and we're going to take a look at a couple of different colors. To begin with, I have this Visconti Homo Sapiens Magma. So this is the Visconti Homo Sapiens Magma. 
and this is an extra fine nib that I care for a great deal. I really like the extra fine nib on here. Now, I will say that uh, some inks look really good coming out of a pen and other inks look a little odd. And I think that this pink ink looks a little odd coming out of this blue and red pen. So it's probably not gonna live in here, but uh, I, I like this extra fine nib and so I wanted to show that. Next up, uh, we have a very interesting nib that is one of my favorites from Pilot and it is the uh, FA nib, and this is on a custom 743. So we have the Pilot Custom 743, and this is an FA nib, and you could tell that this is inked with the orange. And then finally, um, I have a pen with one of my favorite steel nibs on it, which is a Diplomat Arrow. And in this particular pen, if I can spell arrow right, uh, this is a medium nib and we have it inked with the green. Um, if you've watched any of my ink reviews, you know that typically I tie in one or more movies into the writing sample. Uh, for this particular review, I thought I would tie in a movie which relates to the color I'll be using. I'm going to write the text and then you can guess what movie the reference and the reference uh, really shouldn't be that hard. So with the Visconti, we have pink and... I said this 80s teen romantic comedy about love and social cliques or clicks is a cult classic. It has an outstanding soundtrack that holds up to this day and Ducky deserved better when that movie is pretty in pink. Okay, next up we have the Pilot 743. So for the orange movie, we have had a little bit of a skip there. Not music, milk. Okay, apparently I forgot how to write here. I said a dystopian crime film which centers around delinquents fond of classical music milk bars, and ultra-violence. And that movie is, of course, a clockwork orange. And you can see that the orange does have a bit more shading, especially for this F.A. nib when a lot of ink is laid down. Okay, and then finally, we have the Diplomat. So, for... Uh, a green movie, I will admit, I searched for quite some time to find a green film that I really enjoyed, and I settled on this one. I said death row corrections officer during the Great Depression witnessed supernatural events after a new inmate is brought to the prison. And that film is, of course, The Green Mile. If you have a better suggestion, I was thinking about uh, Soylent Green. Uh, you know, there wasn't uh, too many uh, movies with green in the title that I hold a, uh, a personal uh, connection to. I will say, though, that I did have dinner once with uh, one of the lead actors, uh, James Cromwell, who played the, uh, the warden at the prison. And what I mean by had dinner with was uh, we were at a dinner in uh, Santa Monica in Los Angeles, and he was at the next table, table over about uh, three feet away from me and didn't know that I was there, but I was right next to him. Okay, 
in regard to the flow, I find that this is a medium flowing ink. Uh, the drying time uh, is rather quick on here. Uh, after you know, on the extra fine, after five seconds, it was pretty much dry. And on the medium, uh, pretty much right after 10 seconds, it was dry as well. Um, I said that I care for some of the colors in this lineup more than others. Uh, the Kala line is unique and offers colors that I have never seen represented in fountain pen ink before. Uh, they are best used with coated paper. And that's uh, because they are a very pigmented ink. And what I'm going to do here is let's go ahead and do a water test. And while this is sitting here, let's take a look at some chromatography. You can see here with the pink uh, as well as the green ink that uh, it really doesn't change that much. The colors don't separate and that's because it's a heavily pigmented uh, ink so that the green is just a green pigment. It is not a yellow pigment and a, uh, a blue pigment that making up the green, it is straight green. Uh, and the same goes for the pink. And you can see here, this is what both of those look like. And they're pretty much just solid colors that become diluted. Uh, and they, they don't break down into other colors. In regard to water, uh, the water test, um, having this heavy pigmented ink makes this ink fairly waterproof. It was sitting on here for quite some time and barely any ink came off. So I would say that this is fairly waterproof. It's not 100% waterproof by any means, but it is uh, fairly, we'll call it fairly water resistant. So there we have Kala Neon. Um, I really enjoy these colors. I think it's something new and interesting that they've brought to the marketplace. I will put a uh, link in the notes below where you could check this out on the Shigur site. And I greatly appreciate them offering these up for uh, review. And until next time, thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you later.